Okay, and let's begin a new run. Don't run into the lamp. I nearly bonked there. That was close. Quite make that jump. Oops. I've never actually bonked on that before. That's interesting. There we go, that's how that's supposed to go. Another thing that's really nice about this game is just... Uh, the amount of leniency that the developers put in, uh, in terms of being able to damage bosses and giving you options to be able, if you're clever, if you're fast, if you're able to find the skips, you can find ways of skipping phases. Um, so that boss right there can be a lot, um, can be a lot slower than that if you, uh, you know, if you don't know what the skips are. Um, it, uh, Yeah, it's really nice, um, and it means that there's lots of good stuff for uh, speedrunners and people who just want a, a more difficult experience. Uh, there's plenty of content for them to find, but uh, the difficulty kind of scales to just what you want to do. Um, if your skips uh, fail, then you lose time, but it doesn't actually kill you. So there's just some leniency built in with that. It's like you can make the game difficult by just making every little mistake kill you. But doing it this way just means that, um, you know, if you're not using the really, really difficult strats or you're not doing them correctly, you get a lot of time losses, but, you know, they're not massive time losses. Except in Mecha Bowser, or not Mecha Bowser, Mecha, Mecha Brutals. If you fall off of that big monster, that's a pretty big time loss. Skip. Not supposed to be able to do that, but okay. So here's a skip right here. If you can jump on top of that thing, you can skip a phase. And uh, you can catch it a lot faster. Let's see if I can get all three here. Yep. 
Oops. Ah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. See, I didn't quite get the third one there, uh, the third phase as fast as I could have, but... Um... You know, I still managed to cancel the attack three times in a row, so that saves some time. The artwork's pretty awesome, too. It's just, if you look around here, it's not just that it's really awesome, it's that there's also so much of it. Every, um, every kingdom has its own theme. Um... So there's a lot of lot of variety in the uh, the artwork you see. I had some time loss in there. I think most of that was just uh, for not uh, doing the skip on the third cycle of the Madame Brutal fight quite perfectly. I guess I didn't leave. Whoops. No, don't do that. Oops. There we go. That was a bit of time loss. Yeah, I didn't do that fight quite as well as I could have. Here's Sand Kingdom. Okay, so here we come to one of the annoying moons. There's a moon on the top of the sand dune if you ground pound it. It's somewhere at the top here. There it is, first try. That's I think three times in a row I've gotten that first try. If you don't line up with it exactly, you can waste a lot of time there trying to find that silly moon. Slow there, not bad. So this is um, shifting sand here that you can sink into. So I just completely skipped the uh, official route for getting up here. Checkpoint. Oops. 
So the Sphinx asks you questions. If you get them correct, he gets out of your way. Probably more gold than I need there. That's fine. Better too much than too little. Oh yeah, I have plenty for the whole rest of the run. Whoops. So you can quick travel to any uh, checkpoint you've hit previously. That's very useful. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't break that block without a bullet bill. That's actually the first time I've ever failed to do that uh, trick right there. That was interesting. There we go. That's how that's supposed to go. Excuse me, Cactus. Can you get out of my way? Thank you. Ouch. Yeah, that death cost me a bit of, a bit of time there. So we're 40 seconds behind now. So, not an awesome run so far, but there's still, unfortunately, plenty of time to make up later on in the run. Oh, 
Okay, so there's a jump coming up here, which skips uh, a fairly large part of the level, which is quite slow if you miss it. I'm usually pretty good at it, so let's see. Nice. No problem. Here's another boss. You can hit him basically any time he takes his hat off. Which it turns out you can do it quite quickly. Whoops. Missed. There we go. So, apart from jumping past the, uh, the moon there, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good lake kingdom. And right after this, we're coming up to my, probably my favorite kingdom, which is Wooded, which is, has a lot of good gameplay in it. Also, just really, really beautiful. In terms of the graphics that goes into it. Yeah, a little bit. Lost about three seconds. Three seconds is about what I lost uh, going to, uh, or jumping past that moon after the boss, so, oops. Those rabbits can be an absolute pain to catch sometimes. This rock just for no particular reason has a moon in it. That was pretty good right there. Oh, I think I'm gonna bonk. Yep.
You can get up here before the water rises if you do that well enough. I didn't quite get it though. dropped a Z input there. Like, not the game, my finger. Like, I kind of waved my finger at the button and it, for some reason, didn't hit it. I didn't do the long jump when I meant to. Okay, so there's a skip here that's pretty difficult that I'm about to try to do. Uh, you're supposed to hit a button right there that creates this lovely flower road that sort of is basically an auto-scroller that you have to walk on. Whoops. Take two. But, turns out you can actually just make that jump. If you're careful. We end up not using any of the flower roads in this level, pretty much. Actually, there's one that we use in here, so that's not quite true. We use it, uh, briefly. There we go. Whoops. What am I doing? Pretty close. Whoops. Normally, this guy goes flying all around the arena putting goop everywhere, but if you know the trick, you can cancel it. It's not actually hard to do. Once you know that it can be done, of course. So we're going to be saving time here. I'm trying to remember what I messed up in my last run. That lost me that much time there. comes the first Bowser fight. Whee-hoo! <laughs> 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 
Okay, so far so good. One down, two to go. Boy. Here we go. Two down, one to go. Oh. Three out of three, not bad. Okay, so I lost a lot of time in Lost Kingdom. Whoops. A lot of time in Lost Kingdom last time. <clears throat> so hopefully we should be able to save even more time. That's a good start. Okay, so I overshot last time trying to do Klepto Skip. Be a bit. Oh, I almost did it again. That's. Wow, that's not as far away as I think it is, apparently. <clears throat> okay, so that's already time save right there. I overshot that and fell down last time, which wastes a lot of time. Okay, one last moon to get. This is what I call YOLO jump. We got it. Okay, so a few small problems, but overall that was a very clean lost. So we'll be saving time here for sure. Yeah. Almost two minutes. That's what you get if you mess up Klepto Skip. Okay, so nighttime donk. And you're supposed to take the long way around the city. Whoops. But I'm just gonna skip that. Because I can.
I'm gonna take this pretty safely, because I lost a lot of time here in both of my last two runs. Time save. Yeah, I managed to fall down there all the way back down to the bottom. Two runs in a row. Rather embarrassing. Okay, so. Mecha Wriggler. Ah, no, come back here. There we go. bit of uh, AI manipulation here. That should do it. Two cycle. Come on. There we go. It's been a while since I've got gotten a two cycle on that one. For some reason, the, uh, the tanks have been giving me a little bit of trouble recently. Seems to be having some trouble. Yeah. Know what's going on there? Hopefully, hopefully there's something going on that can sort itself out. dropping frames all over the place here. Could be causing that. Oops. No, go in the pipe. There we go. Time loss. Oh, 
Oh, that's the second time loss. I do not know what's going on with my internet connection, so I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Because it's not just slow, I can see the bitrate. Keeps fluctuating, going up and down and up and down. Oops. Tree. frame. So we're losing time here for sure. Time and frames. Wow, what did I do in my last run? I only lost 22 seconds to that? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Could have been better. Oh, 
Yeah, if these frames don't come back, this definitely has to be the last run I do on stream for today. Because the uh, frame dropping situation does not look good. happened again. It's like I was moving full speed there, right? Why was that a backflip? Took a bit of a risk there. See if I can get Goombas to behave here. Nice. Yeah, the frame problem is apparently not a problem with my computer, it's got to be with my internet. Oops. Okay, losing a little bit of time here. That was a pretty clean run, too.
Oops. That's no good. Pushing the wrong buttons. Internet might be back. Maybe. Just maybe. It looks like it's stabilized. Well, it doesn't say that I'm dropping frames anymore, so I guess that means we're back. Hello? Anybody who uh, managed to stick through that? Don't know what happened to the internet there. I didn't do anything, and it broke. I didn't do anything else, and it fixed itself. So, welcome back. We are still speedrunning. And lost a little bit more time. But still have plenty of time, or plenty of lead, going into this. Not normally how I mess that up. There we go. I'm trying to remember if I made any mis or any big mistakes. Last time I did this, uh, this uh, particular kingdom, Luncheon Kingdom. I don't think I had any major screw ups. getting moons. Hmm. 
Nice. There we go. A little bit faster than I did that last time. I was playing it really safe. Pretty good. That's actually faster than my last run, getting up there. Yeah, there's a crate down there with a moon that you can hit. If you know it's there. Oh, don't know if I'm in the right spot there. Nope. Oh, close enough. Whoops. Fork section, let's see if I can do this. Come on. I'll take it. Oh, I very nearly jumped off the side there. Take it. Sloppy movement there, but uh, not terrible. Yikes, we're good. Okay. Let's see if we can get over this mountain on the first try. That's pretty good. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're down here now. Quite according to plan. But we can get back up. Looks like we're going to be losing some time here again. Not actually sure why. 
there weren't any major hiccups in there. Although, I guess there weren't any major hiccups in uh, the last run either, so I guess it comes down to uh, general movement. Oh, my movement was pretty clean in there. Okay, well, six seconds lost. Okay, so we're going to Ruined Kingdom here. If I can remember to skip the cutscenes, that would be useful. I was gonna say there's a little bit of time to uh, save here, but I may have already just lost that. Could have been better going up that hill there. That was better. Could have shaved a few frames off of that, but overall, at least I didn't bonk. And we had a bonk in this phase in the last run. Oh, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong place. Could have been slightly better on that, but I think that was better than the last run. Okay, so on on balance, let's see how is this going to work out? Missing the moon. Okay, so with that and with slightly missing the cutscene skip earlier, I'm going to say probably losing at least a couple seconds here. A lot, though. Eh, four seconds. Okay, so Bowser coming up. I can definitely save time here. Because uh, I uh, messed up both of the brutal fights uh, in the last run. Pretty badly. A good Mecha Brutal, though, so, you know, that's kind of the gatekeeper there.
That was pretty good. Yahoo! Yeah, I had that. I had a little bit of trouble getting up that wall earlier in the last run, so I'm actually a bit ahead now. How well we can get this. Oh, well, okay. There goes that. Slow. Oh. oh, well, lost some time there. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, so now we're probably losing time again. Although, with those two fights still to go. Still plenty of time to make up. Flawless. And that could have been better, but uh, that was still a lot better than what I had last time. Time save. Time save again. A little bit. Still pretty bad fight, but unfortunately still time save.
Oh! Okay, well... This is not going well now. Two deaths. I am feeling that I'm starting to lose a little bit of concentration here as well, so that might be why. Okay, so we're losing time here, for sure. Just depends on how much. through that fight. Well, that was good, at least. So, time loss hopefully won't be catastrophic, at least. Already losing time against my best, though. So that's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's see what we're what we're down by. Not a lot, honestly, which is sad. <laughs> Thirteen seconds, nearly fourteen. Okay. So just over two minutes ahead, going into the final split. So I had a less than perfect Bowser fight here, and I also had, like, fifth try Sphinx hop, so yeah. If Sphinx is nice, then I have plenty of time to save here. Sadly, it is not something I'm consistent at, so...
we shall see. Hello. That was uh, weird. Sphinx. Be kind. Ah, no first try. No, oh, that looked a bit low. Yeah. Not gonna get it there. There we go. Time save. So, Bowser fight. No! Ah, did that last time too. Didn't get the hat in time. Actually, I think I know what I'm doing there. I throw once. Oh, uh oh. Low battery warning on the controller. Hopefully that'll last for a few more minutes. So I do the first hat throw to stop Bowser's hat, then I do a second one. So I think that second one I'm doing way too soon. I've never actually had a controller run out of juice before, so I don't actually know how much leniency there is on the uh, low battery warnings. I've had controllers in the past where it told you that about five seconds before the controller died. Oh, too close. Oh, well, that's awkward. Oh. Okay, well, bad Bowser fight. Somehow I missed there.
Okay, here we go, final room. On controller, you can do it. Holy crap, I think that was four hits? Did I really just get four hits on that thing? Yeah, I did, wow. Holy crap, this is a PB. Oh, but it's not... It's not sub-120. <laughs> oh, so close. And so much time lost. Sub-120 is so free. So free. One twenty oh one. Ah. Hey, it's a PB though. I'll take it. I will definitely take a PB. With two deaths in Bowser's Kingdom, too. That's, uh... That's quite a thing. Since this is a PB VOD, apparently, uh, I'm gonna let the credits roll, and uh, then I will. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take off after that. I don't think I've got the energy. I need to do another run. Yeah, next time I do this, though, definitely need to get that sub 120. Some of best down to 117.30. So, you know. Sub 120 is definitely not the ultimate goal here. how far out of sync my mic is with the uh, game audio. Maybe I shouldn't hum along. It's so hard though, it's so, such great music. That was way off key at the end anyway. I'm probably off time as well. So anyway, yeah, uh, seeing that PB though, even if it isn't sub 120, still makes me happy. PB is a PB, especially a PB by, uh, let's see, over two minutes. Two minutes and eight seconds is what I just saved. Um, still a good run. Well, I mean, terrible run in so many ways, but, you know, still getting better, which is, you know, the correct, uh, correct state for the first derivative to be in. As long as it can stay there for a while. That would be awesome. Actually, take a look at my splits here. Yeah. 
So we were what 40 seconds down 43 seconds down by lake Mass have come back and wooded of course Didn't mess up klepto skip So got two minutes ahead by lost Two minutes 30 by Metro Dark Metro anyway Light Metro had some issues somehow only lost 22 seconds. It's like there was definitely over half a minute of time lost in there, so there must have been some good stuff in there as well. Um, and just a lot of little movement here, movement there. Bowser had a lot of problems in it, though. Two deaths. Two fairly costly deaths. Sorry, off-key again. Um, yeah, that Bowser... Bowser's Kingdom can definitely be improved so by a lot. My game. And thank you, all of you, for watching. I will see you, hopefully, in the next stream. Till then, hope you all have an awesome day.